Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all the polishes I wore for the Polish Talk Challenge 2020 for the month of July. So I feel like I didn't wear that much but now that I have it all out here next to me I'm like oh I do I did wear a lot so I'm really happy with my progress um so let's just get into talking about the polish I feel like this video is going to be long so the first thing I wore for the month of July was going to be um bubble gum from double Dutches. I had to swatch for them and when I put this pink on I like really really fell in love with it so I decided to paint my non-swatching hand my Cindy hand and just kind of wear it and um enjoy it um if you all have not watched any of my other videos i've talked about double dutches a little bit um this is a poc owned brand i feel like they're very poc shopper friendly um the polishes are scented so after the polish dries it has the scent of bubble gum the scent is amazing you guys it lasts for a day maybe a little bit more formula on this was amazing two easy coats to get opaque it has a wonderful brush um, I really, really like this. They just had a restock at the beginning of August. I'm not sure if they have a lot of these polishes still on site. Um, after they launched, a lot of things sold out, but they brought some stuff back. So you might want to go and check if you are interested. I will have Double Dutch's link down below. Um, but I really enjoyed Bubble Gum so, so much. I thought it was a beautiful pink, great formula. The scent was beautiful. Um, super, super fun polish. Then um, one of the hashtags was Butter London Untrieds. I had big intentions of wearing some of my Butter Londons. That didn't really happen. But I did get Candy Floss on the nails, which is this baby blue Butter London polish. Had a good formula, two coats to get opaque. Um, I just wasn't sure I completely loved this on my skin tone. I don't know if it had the pop I was hoping for. Um, I don't know if I wasn't in the mood for this kind of color. I'm not really sure, but this was not like one of my absolute favorite Manny's of the month. Um, there was nothing wrong with the polish. I just, something about it just didn't like completely wow me. So, um, this may go in the destash pile. I haven't decided yet, but, um, this is again candy clock. This is again candy floss from Butter London. Then I was swatching for um, Painted Phalanges and she had this really cool topper called Mr. Bubbles from her um, Wildlife Preserve collection for July based on um, Lilo and Stitch. So this is a black um, holographic topper which is really cool to me. Um, I've seen these sort of like micro holographic toppers in silver. China Glaze has one, Fairy Dust. Um, I have the Salon Perfect version. There's also some gold version. I actually have one from Colorista Carol that I really enjoy but a black hollow was something I had never seen and I was like in love with it. Has a great glitter payoff, not base heavy, um, one to two coats and you get a really cool speckled look on the nail. Um, and underneath this glitter I put on So Fly from Orly. Um, bottoms up from China Glaze. This is one of my favorite pink China Glazes, you guys. If you have this and you haven't tried it, I would get it out. It's so fun. Formula is a little tricky, but it's just so, so good. Um, I also did Oh Snap from Orly. Um, Push the Limit from Orly. And far out from Orly. So a lot of the polishes from this summer's neon collection I've already worn multiple times with multiple manicures. I really really loved the neons in this collection you guys. I felt like they were just great formulas, great colors, great pops of color. Um, So that was my next manicure. So again so again I was swatching and I just like fell in love with the look so I decided to put it on the other hand and wear it. I really really liked it. I didn't want to take it off. I thought it was really good. Then um, I had to swatch Black Dahlia Lacquer and this fit the hashtags of the Kelly's Neon Crowleys to celebrate Kelly Dillian's birthday. And um, so I decided to keep this on the nails after I swatched. This one is called War Grave Geraniums. Um, I have a full review on my thoughts on Black Dahlia Polish, which I will link down below if I remember. Um, I liked the formula on this. I thought it was, you know, fairly easy to work with for a Crowley polish. My only issue that I had with the um, Black Dahlia polishes was the brush stem is really, really, really long. Um, and it does cause some issues with polish running down the stem of the brush and wanting to like plop on your nail and making stuff a little bit difficult to control. So keep that in mind if you do decide to purchase from Black Dahlia Lacquer. Um, but overall, I really did enjoy this polish. I thought it had a really beautiful sort of like sexiness to it. Um, this could also be appropriate for fall, I feel like. So just a really fun polish. Then um, I ordered the whole Cirque um, Vice collection this year and um, 
as soon as I pulled this out, I was like, I have to get this on my nails. So this is Super Freak. Um, and you guys, this is the most bright, amazing neon orange I have in my collection. It had a great formula. Two coats to get opaque. Um, it literally just glows and screams off the nail. Um, I'm obsessed with this polish. If you, I don't even know if it's sold out or not sold out anymore. On Cirque's Vice, like once I got mine, I was like, okay. Um, but if this is still available and you like neons, I, I really, really liked this. I really, really loved this. I felt like it was just perfect, just a perfect summer polish. So don't have anything bad to say about this one. And then I wanted to get more Cirque polishes worn. So I decided to go for retail therapy. Um, I really like this. I feel like it's super, super bright. Great formula, went on like a butter, super flattering. But I don't feel like for me it was neon enough. Um, it's a gorgeous pink. I really, really did enjoy it. When I want a neon pink, I want something like really bright. Um, I'm very like eye searing and I don't feel like this gave me that, um, but it is very, very pretty. Um, I will probably wear this again because it's just a really flattering, really gorgeous, really easy to apply pink. So, um, again, this one was retail therapy. Then it was my friend Amy's birthday, Mervy on Instagram, and we did a collaboration for her for her birthday and she's been very into like fall polish in the middle of summer and into like very um wine colored polishes so that's what we decided to do for the um collaboration and so i ended up wearing this polish um amy is the only reason you will see me wearing a fall polish in the middle of july um if it were not for her birthday this would never be on my nails till probably at least at least october um, but this is Razzle My Berries 2.0 from Quixotic Polish. You guys, this polish is so beautiful. Um, it's sort of more of a like purpley kind of pink, I feel like. On the nails, I feel like it is a little bit brighter than you're seeing in the bottle. Um, but it has this really beautiful like Aurora shimmer kind of thing going. It has some holographic. This on the nail is like breathtaking. Um, I'm completely obsessed with it. I want to wear it again in the fall when I feel like I'm more in the mood for this type of polish. But oh, so, so good. This polish made fall nails in the middle of summer completely bearable. Um, I was obsessed with it. Completely, completely obsessed. I was kind of thinking to myself, why don't I have more Quixotic polishes? Because the couple that I've tried like have been really, really good. So this is a brand I'm definitely going to be looking more into to maybe purchase from. Um, but this one was so, so good. Then I did a twinning manicure with my friend Amy Sue, um, and we both wore I've Got That Sunshine in My Pocket from Painted Phalange. From Painted Phalanges, um, this was released in the Some Good News collection in May. I don't know if this is still available on her website, but when I swatched this for my swatch and review, I just felt like it was a touch on the sheer side, and so I decided to put Orly's O Snap underneath. So I did one coat of Orly's O Snap with two coats of the Painted Phalanges, and I really, really loved the result. Um, this polish, you guys, is like such a nice neon yellow. Um, if you like Orly's Glow Stick, but you feel like it's a little bit tricky for you, I would definitely check this out. I don't think it's a two-coater on its own. I definitely feel like you need that third coat, or for me personally, I did. But one coat of this under two coats of this just was like amazing. Um, this is a neon yellow Crelly with um, magenta glitters and white shards. I think that's a really interesting combination. Uh, goes on really nice. Um, and this was just a really, really fun manicure. I actually got a couple of compliments on this. Super, super bright, really fun, um, pops off your tan, and um, just a perfect summer manicure. It looked beautiful on Amy as well. Um, and then I twinned with Amy Sue again. We were like on a roll. I was like, people aren't gonna know who's who after a while <laughs> if we keep twinning. Um, but this is this is Fruit from June's Polish Pickup from Painted Phalanges. This is a neon orange kind of... Um, jelly finish polish with um uh, matte orange glitters and like yellow glitters and then there's some holographic in there this is a super fun um polish i really like the way that this popped off my skin tone i think it's a beautiful great formula three coats to get opaque i feel like there is a touch of visible nail line but it's not horrible um after three coats you guys so so good um i hope you pick this up for polish pickup because i am obsessed with this polish um, then um, I wanted to film my POC friendly brand video and so I wanted to try a couple of the Dimension Nails polishes and I decided to put on um, Arabian Camel 
And the only reason I picked this one is because I felt like it was the most interesting and I was really kind of concerned how it was going to look on my skin tone. So I thought I'm going to try this, get it out of the way, see what I think. Um, formula was so, so good. Two coats to get opaque. Um, they went on like a butter. Um, this actually looked really, really nice on my skin tone. I think it's a really interesting sort of pretty ugly shade, which I was obsessed with. Um, just really, really, really pretty. I actually switched up my nail shape. Um, actually I talked about these out of order so I wore this first then I wore this because I switched up my nail shape to put this on um after I had a break I decided to go to more of like a square nail um and then I reshaped again to a little bit more of like a ballerina coffin kind of shape but um <clears throat> this went on really really good if you guys have not tried Dimensions nails I highly recommend it I've tried two of the polishes I thought they were really good great formulas um I really like the concept she donates a lot of money to animal charities which is awesome they're vegan they're cruelty free they're leaping bunny certified all of that really cool stuff um i like the brush i just like the packaging i like everything so um i will link the dimensions and nail website down below just in case you guys have never checked them out um and again this one was called arabian camel then for pedicures um also from dimension nails i put on emu which is sort of like a peachy pinky kind of nude color i really enjoyed this as a pedicure i felt like it popped i'm really excited to try this as a manicure because i think it's just going to be really flattering i think this is the kind of shade too that's really versatile i feel like this could go for spring i feel like this could go for summer and i feel like this could go into fall um super super fun color great formula um i would say this is a two to three coater but the two to three coats go on really really nice and smooth um and that was one of the pedicures i wore then I decided to switch out to a brighter pedicure and I went with Orly's So Fly. So I haven't even had this polish that long and this is probably like legit like the fifth time I've worn it. Um, I've swatched with it a bunch of times. I've pulled it out for a manicure. I did some nail art with it. I wore it as a pedicure. Um, it even has like a little bit of a fill line. I'm like I should have gotten a backup. Um, but I really enjoyed this as a pedicure. It went on nice and easy. Two coats to get opaque on the toes. Super bright. Super eye catching. Um, really really pops off a tan. Really accentuates a tan. I just thought this was the perfect summer manicure. I tend to stay away from greens on the toes just because i worry about like toe fungus look but this does not give you toe fungus look at all it's just pops it's pretty um it's very complimentary so i really really liked this polish i feel like if you are on the fence about this you should probably get it before it's completely sold out just because it's so so good like i'm considering a backup of this polish because i just love it so so much so that's everything that i wore let's talk about favorite manicures so a lizard love nails decided to do one of the pin it recreations um look at how fun this is you guys so so pretty i love the color she picked i love that blue um night owl it looks so pretty um and then she did all the fun dots and this was the inspiration picture so i actually like lizard loves nails manicure more i think it's prettier um so really really great job there i really really loved I like how a nest hair so really really great job there i really really liked it super super fun um k dillian did this really pretty manicure um where she's wearing desire of the sea from indie by patty lopes and sweet angel from kiss products um i love this combination i feel like it's so pretty so fun so flattering i love her nail ship i love her nail shape i love everything about this i'm completely obsessed obsessed so super great job and it was your birthday month so, so of course you should have the most beautiful manicures on your birthday month so good job um this was another really fun manicure this is from pretty manny petty um she did a combination of valley of the dolls and thirsty from the cirques um neon vice collection look at how cute i love the combination then she did like alternating colored um dots for a little bit of nail art super cute great combo um I like that pink and that green together. I think it's super, super fun. Um, this is another really fun manicure. This is from Crystal Dot Skyscraper. She is wearing, oh shoot, she's wearing um Night Owl Lacquer's Magical, and then she did some really cute stamping on the ring finger. Um, I got this polish for PPU, and as soon as I pulled it out of the packaging, I was like obsessed. I really like the way it looks on her, so I need to wear mine. Um, so 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 good. Um, this is another super fun manicure. This is from P. 
House 1964. She's wearing Valley of the Dolls from Sir Colors. And then she did some like, I think it's watermelon stamping. Look at how cute that is. That Sir Color is sort of watermelon-esque. Um, I really, really liked that. I thought that was a cute combination. So this is from Variety Varnish, Sheila. Um, she did Valley of the Dolls topped with Too Much Fun from DRK Nails. Um, and oh my goodness, look at that. Summer Neon Perfection. Um, and then that topper just adds like something to it. I really, really like this. I like her new nail shape. Um, I just was obsessed with that manicure. I think the pink on her skin tone, perfect. Oh, I'm going to get in one more. I'm sorry. One, one more. So this is 80s Prototype Number 1 by Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This was from Alexandra from Zandria Polish. Um, you guys, look at that curly on her. That white just pops off her skin tone. All those beautiful glitters. So, so pretty. So she had another polish from Pretty Beautiful Unlimited she posted a while back. Um, I was so obsessed with that polish. I went to Pretty Beautiful Unlimited site and purchase like a ton of polishes this is actually the <laughs> the um envelope that the polishes came in i'm hoping to do a, like at least a nail wheel swatch of them um a lot of prototypes a lot of interesting colored creams stuff was like super cheap like three four dollars for a polish i was just like thank you sandria polish for pushing me into this order because it was so so fun um i actually want to purchase some more just because i thought it was such a really fun site great prices I like prototypes because I feel like you get some weird things. Or not weird, but like just different things. And so I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. One more pin it. So this is from Vicky Fan 4. Um, she did the Dada Care inspiration as well. I love the color she picked. I love her longer nail shape. Um, I just think it's so pretty. Like so, so pretty. Look at that. That's like summer fun, having a blast. Um, I feel like I'm John Travolta. I need to settle down. Um but it's just a really pretty combo and then again um i think she put the inspiration manicure no she did not um but the inspiration manicure was the same one i showed you before so so fun so um anyways those were my favorite manicures for the month thank you guys so much for participating in the polish talk challenge 2020 um if you want to join in we're in a new month for august um the hashtags for the month of august are going to be flaky bombs um hollow madness and summer shimmers so if you want to join in just pick a polish that fits those hashtags use the hashtags tag me if you want and use polish underscore talk challenge 2020 to tag all your manicures so that i can pick from favorite manicures that's the hashtag i search off for, for that um if you're wondering what i have on my nails oh my gosh look at this this is um a lollipop posse a lacquer prickly prickly pear it's a prickly pear this was sent to me from my friend carolina a uh, so beautiful you guys this was from for the love of polish box i wanted this polish but i didn't want the other ones in the box she ended up getting the box and then she put this on and um she ended up getting the box she put this on and she wasn't completely in love with it so she asked me if i wanted it and i was like yes and so um so beautiful you guys i decided to matte top coat it too and i am obsessed with it um so i have a big announcement i wanted to thank everybody for joining me for the polish talk with joe episode number one where we had our special guest v i had so much fun you guys oh my gosh so much fun i felt like it was like a total giggle fest um i was like laughing so much i was crying i just we had a blast v is an amazing person to talk to i feel like she has a lot of really good nail insight and like how to do your instagram page insight and i actually think v is going to be back for a uh, part two because there was so many questions that we didn't get a chance to even talk about um just because stuff just it went so quick but i had a blast if you guys haven't seen it it's posted here on youtube i think you can still watch it on my igtv as well um it was an hour long which i wasn't anticipating um but just thank you guys so much for your support on that i was a nervous wreck i was like pre panic attack for probably the first 10 minutes and then i was able to like take a deep breath relax <laughs> Um, so and the next guest on Polish Talk with Joe is going to be Joy from Joyful Beauty. I am so excited. Um, so I have been chatting a lot with Joy probably for the last four or five months. Um, I think she's super sweet. 
Um, I really enjoy our conversations, um, but it was so funny. When I first started my YouTube channel, I did a video, I don't even remember what it was, and um, Joy left a comment, and I like literally almost fainted. I was like, oh my gosh, Joy from Joyful Beauty is watching my videos. Because I watched her for a long, long time before I even started making videos. Um, I was obsessed with her project polishes, like obsessed. I feel like Joy project polishes like nobody's business, or when she was project polishing. Um, I also enjoy like her seasonal rack videos. I enjoy um, her pan it videos like for her eyeshadows and like using up all her products. I really like the stuff that she puts out but when she left that comment on my video I was like I even I think told my husband I was like oh my god Joy from Joyful Beauty um, watches my videos and he was like who's Joy from Joyful Beauty <laughs> like what are you even talking about but I was like oh my god she's this huge YouTuber she has tons of followers and she is watching my videos my videos and um, I totally fangirled so so hard like so hard um so i'm super excited for her to come on and talk polish with me for episode two of polish talk with joe um so if you guys have any questions that you have for joy or me or something that you would like to have something that you would like to see joy and i discuss on the live um leave them in the comments down below and hopefully we'll get a chance to get to them i feel like when you're live um things kind of take twists and turns i feel like with me and i things took a lot of twists and turns but it was really fun so that's part of the fun of the live um if there's a lot of questions left over maybe joy will come back for an episode two um but this will be happening friday august 21st at 7 p.m mountain standard time as it gets closer to the 21st i will be um I will be, you know, putting out more reminders just so that you guys, if you want to catch it live, you can. If not, I finally figured out how to save the information to put on YouTube. So yay me. I am not tech savvy at all. So I was like, woo, 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 once I figured it out. <laughs> um, and so that is it, you guys. Um, I have a lot of people lined up for Polish Talk with Joe. I have enough to probably do 10 ap episodes, people that are interested. So I'm planning to do every other week right now. Maybe once um, it's winter, I might go to every week. I'm not sure. Um, it's like a big chunk of time commitment for me to have like an hour every week where I have to be uninterrupted. So we'll see how it goes. Um, if you are also interested in being on an episode of Polish Talk with Joe, leave me a comment down below and we'll hook up and figure out, you know, a date and time that works and things like that. So I'm super excited. I just want to thank you guys so much for all your support. I thought it was super, super fun. We had a lot of people watching, a lot of interaction. Um, I hope that you guys felt like V and I were able to interact with you. Um, but it's, I don't know, it was the first live. So there was like a lot going on and a lot of scrolling of comments. And so I hope you guys didn't feel neglected because that wasn't, um, you know, that isn't how I want anybody to feel during the lives. But hopefully things will get better, like with me trying to pay attention to all this like scrolling stuff and I won't be so nervous and all of that stuff. But it was a blast. I had so much fun. And be ready to polish talk with Joe and Joy. Um, so anyway, that is it for this video. If you guys liked it, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.